I wanted to uh, screen capture your iPad. Uh, I I was the I was the device uh, screen for free. So watch the video to learn how. So hello everyone, what the good to that lessons? Today I'm going to show you a way to screen capture your iPad for free. So the things you need is a Mac, virtually uh, 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 without working on my Windows. Uh, and uh, in the Mac should be have a Mac OS at Yosemite or later, not before that, like for example Mavericks. Um, so in this case, I'm using El Capitan. You can upgrade that for free. Uh, also, you you need a iOS device. Uh, in this case, I'm using the iPad Air 2, but you can use your, your iPhone or iPod and touch. And also, you need a lightning cable, to, lightning to USB cable. So in this case, uh, you, you you can hear. Um, in this case, I'm using the the smaller one since the iPad Air 2 comes with the smaller lightning port cable, and it, and also the, here is the USB port. And if it's connected to a a, a charger, you can remove it just by removing it. So, actually, right uh, for right now, we, we can start. Eventually, uh, well, you should wake up your iPad and set it up for connecting. So, the first thing is to just go into Touch ID and wake it up. Now, now I woke up my iPad, so I go connect to the lighting uh, port, especially through the lighting port. Actually, uh, there, it's like very difficult to do on camera. Um, okay, after that, actually, uh, after that, uh, you need to connect it to a port on your Mac. So, um, put up to camera. So yeah, I found USB port, so I go just connect it to it. And it's charging right now, so that I think it, and, uh, it would waste charge. But um, wait, second. So apparently, uh, iTunes uh, just popped up um, very easily. The yeah, iTunes just popped up. So eventually, the next thing is to do I mean, is to start QuickTime. So there are a few ways to start QuickTime. Here I have all my doc, but one way is to go to Spotlight. Um, you can do a command, wait. So, okay, so, so we should just start a Spotlight and then search for QuickTime player. Also, you can go to the Launchpad, then go to Utter. Oh, yeah, we just wait a second. So we go to uh, Utter, then go to QuickTime. Okay, so we are in QuickTime right now. So Richard, the next thing is to do is to actually create a new uh, movie recording. So I'll just close up here. Um, so new movie recording. So uh, recording. So I go to zoom out. How so you have to create a new movie recording? Uh, basically, uh. <laughs> Recording. So after that, you need to uh, actually go to um, need to actually go uh, select your iPad. So in this case, it's uh, my iPad. So it keeps waking this up for some reason. Ah, so here is the my iPad. So eventually, it is, so you can select the microphone to record from. Uh, which it's like the built-in internal microphone. Um, I don't know why um, it's just saying, but as I have my wish, so the first thing is, is to understand that it not going to record the sound of your iPad. So if you want to do that, you need to use a built-in screen recorder. But you know, no worries, it at least records in high resolution at 60 frames per second. So I, <coughs> I'm going to wish it. So up here, eventually you're going to, well, I will just show you some of the lag, actually, here, so I'm going to first um, move, see, there is quite a bit of lag, if you can see it, um, well, um, well, it's easy to be noticeable, and also it's a different aspect ratio. So, eventually, to show you, uh, especially the niceness, I'm going to, wish you can use, connect this to an external display, uh, and eventually, um, and use it, or you can just press the record button, and record your iPad. So actually, this is also a nice feature. So in this case, I'm going to search for uh, Crossy Road. 
So yeah, in this case, the sound is not coming, even though I, it's not muted, you can't uh, adjust the sound, uh, yes, for sure, um, and make sure I could just uh, start playing it, especially in this case, I, uh, yeah, make sure we play it. You can use the built-in screen capture on uh, the cross you roll, but it's not very good, it's like a very, uh, you can see all the frames, and also, you can see the lag, I cannot see the display continuously, and I'm like a free gift, for example. So, uh, yeah, so you can stop the recording, and then it would uh, make you play it, so in this case, uh, I'm going to just play it for you, I'm going to play it on camera, and of course, the iPad, so this is also a nice feature. So in this case, I'm going to search for a uh, crossy road, it's really, um, in this case, the sound is not coming, even though I, it's not muted, you can uh, adjust the sound, uh, yes for sure. Um, and make sure I could just uh, start playing it. Especially in this case, I uh, yeah, make sure we, we play it. You can use the built-in screen capture on the crossy roll, but it's not very good. It's like a very uh, you can see all the frames, and also you can see the lag. I cannot see the display continuously. Uh, when I complete it, for example. So, uh, yeah. So you can stop the recording. Um, wait a second. Um, I'm going to put the iPad to sleep. <sighs> Why? So, eventually, uh, I need to find quick time. Yeah. So, like, you can see how smooth this is, actually. Uh, it doesn't have that much choppiness. The only choppy is, is the processor, actually. Well, actually, the main reason that this is like that, because, uh, eventually, you could... But because it's not using the processing power to record it, so eventually I, I will just have to pause. You can even also um, other stuff eventually to it. Uh, eventually we're going to also see the movie inspector uh, window uh, show movie inspector. In this case, it's uh, recorded at 52.41 FPS, not exactly 60 FPS, but it takes a lot of processing power. First place, and eventually 10. 1067 by 800, but that's not the curve, real resolution. It recorded at 1600 by 1200, actually. But you can record this at, at 60 FPS. I think you didn't record it correctly, but well, you can create a new movie recording and record this. So, um, wait, I'm gonna log in. It, it keeps popping up for some reason. Okay, so you can create a new movie recording and visually select the quality. Also, visually, like going down, um, I, you can go to select maximum. I can select high, but you can select maximum quality. And I don't think that's, that was a difference. And it's also going to make it more choppy. So, look at the high. Hi. So, eventually, yeah, uh, that's uh, all. Eventually, uh, I'm going to just, I mean, you say, oh, you can see, eventually, uh, so I'm going to just, you can save this in movie recording, so I'm going to press save, and I'm going to save as Crossy Road. Um, and I, it's going to save as an MOV file, and eventually, if it's not supported, you can have to convert it, or you can put it into iMovie and re-encode it, and just save it, and it's just going to encode it. Now you can play it from file, and yeah, it, it will still play for two quick time. So, this is a Christian Das Lessons. Subscribe to my channel, like this video, and share this video with other friends on the internet. So, this is Christian Das Lessons. So, thank you for watching. Uh, I also watched my last video, so thank you for watching this lesson. Bye.